and I did very well. I was successful in the 10 days. I enjoyed it. So those 10 days happened recently for you guys, but it's been about a week for me. So I am ahead on filming, not by much, um, I would say enough to keep me on my toes here while also having a little bit of room to breathe and to create this type of content for you guys because I've been enjoying it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Um, I'm trying hardcore not to read the comments too much because it <laughs> messes with my mental state like pretty bad. So as you guys know, the, the most weight that I have ever lost at once has been 89 pounds. <laughs> And this was like, geez, 10 years ago. And it's like, I always want to reach this 100 pound loss. And it's like, whenever I get close, something happens. So in this series, I will be showing you my daily weights. Um, we'll talking about them actually, because, okay, so I feel like I'm all over the place because I haven't talked to you guys in a week. Um, and I was daily vlogging for 10 days. So... I feel like we have a lot to catch up on. So as you guys know, I'm sorry this is gonna be all over the place, like what an intro is this? So as you guys know, I bought the Hello It's Ready scale, but the situation is it makes me four to six pounds lighter than I actually am. So if I was like in my delusional state or the state where I wanna lie to myself or I'm in denial about my weight, I would continue using the scale that makes me smaller, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna lie to myself, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not gonna be delusional. Um, so I went back to using my old scale, which is very reliable, um, it better be because it was expensive. So sadly you guys won't be hearing my weights, which I was looking forward to, and I know you guys have been requesting that, but the scale is not accurate, so I'm not gonna do that to either of us. Anyways, so this series is me counting my calories, showing you guys what I eat every single day and doing daily weigh-ins until I reach 100 pounds down. This is a goal for me that I need to succeed in <laughs> because it's time, folks. It is time to reach that 100 pounds down because I just feel like trying to reach 472.4. So I'm 486. Oh, wait, no. It's exactly 14 pounds. 572.4 was my heaviest and we're trying to get to 472.4 so once I reach that we'll be down 100 pounds we can celebrate a bit we have a lot more to go after that but I just want to focus strictly on reaching that milestone and then we can come up with another challenge another series I feel like doing these because it's like YouTube's my job reality that's my job it's how I have a roof over my head it's how I pay for my bills for my fur babies and I'm so grateful. So mixing that with the fact that this is my job, also my passion to film and mixing that with trying to improve my health, also inspiring others in some way that I hope that I can while sharing my journey, just like the mixture of all of it has been really healthy for me and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it you guys. Let's do this thing, episode one. I hope that you guys enjoy this because I'm gonna be down 100 pounds soon because I'm not starting this series to fail. I'm starting it to succeed. Wow, okay, let's do this. All right, first meal is lasagna with meat sauce. It is 360 calories. It says two times the meat. I don't know, ma'am. That kind of creeps me out. So how long is this supposed to be in the microwave for? A total of seven minutes. Wow, I love that. Okay. So here it is. It is such like a perfect size. Like my hand is pretty small. Like, not gonna lie. I have kind of small hands. I'm gonna have some Tabasco on it, I think. And I did put it in for the time that it said. And it definitely got cooked, thank God. I'd rather any of my food to be overcooked than undercooked. Random fact about me. Okay, you guys, so it is time for my next meal. I am having KFC. I cannot expect to just one day wake up and say, no more takeout. It's not gonna happen. Um, I've been ordering takeout <laughs> almost daily for about a decade. Um, eight to 10 years, I'd say. 
and count calories and diet and restrict without focusing on my recovery for my binge eating because technically restricting or counting calories can trigger people to binge. So it's all a mess. It's a formula for disaster. But I'm trying to figure it out and work through it. That's why I have a psychologist. That's why I'm attending outpatient again. Um, so I'm trying to figure it out, you guys, okay? So for my next meal, um, we have a famous bowl from KFC, which is one of my most favorite things. <laughs> I love it from there. Um, it is a famous bowl that looks like this. So it has mashed potatoes, it has gravy, it has a little bit of cheese, it has corn, and it has popcorn chicken. And it's a fill up, so it comes with a cookie, which this surprised me, this is only 120 calories. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat it, mainly because I'm not sure if I want it. Um, their cookies are, they're not the greatest, so it's like why would I wanna waste 120, 120 calories on that? So, famous bowl though is 740 calories so if i finish it all cool 740 calories but if i don't then i'll let you guys know and then i have a large diet pepsi <laughs> so that is my meal and we're gonna go eat that and i'm gonna catch up with a little bit of youtube because i enjoy watching youtube while i'm eating so yes let's take like first bite together do you guys want the first bite you guys can have the first bite. Here it is. Here it is. Open up. It's so good. Genuinely, so good. <laughs> I was really craving like a comfort food. And for me, this is it. Okay, you guys, I need to give you an update. <laughs> on this book I I I'm kind of losing my reading steam which is making me really sad because I was watching another youtuber who um, recommended two new books and I got them in the mail I don't know like a week ago um, I want to show them to you guys so Saving Noah by Lucinda Berry they said it's a hard read I love a hard read and then A Little Life by Hanya. I'm not even going to try the last name because I don't want to mispronounce it, which is a thick book. Um, this is supposed to be just like a devastating book and it's just like super sad. Um, it follows four friends throughout doing the damn thing. So um, I know this video is like on the shorter side. Like some of them will be longer. That is definitely my goal. Um, I could put in another day in this video and like just be like this is like day one and day two but i really wanted to make it to where every day was its own video so like there was like a new weigh-in every single video kind of like how i did last series so yeah i'm gonna you know i don't want them to all be like short and stuff i do prefer a lengthier video i've been enjoying it and i've been enjoying talking to you guys and like sharing my journey if you will um but yeah i'm also trying harder to drink more water you guys you guys have definitely told me you know Amberlynn, you are a dehydrated queen so get your water in so i'm definitely trying to drink more water um i have lessened my soda intake recently drastically actually um majority of the liquid i am taking in is water so yeah, we don't want to be a dehydrated queen. We want to be a hydrated queen. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm going to end this video. Uh, even though I am eating way below 2,000 calories a day, it's just not as simple as people make it seem. Like, oh, stay below this many calories. Yeah, for a lot of people, it is that easy. Um, for me, it's not. And it's very discouraging. So it's leaving me right now feeling two types of way. I'm so angry that I never want to eat again, but I'm also so angry that I want to binge. I don't know, I just feel very, very sad. Um, I made a bet that I was going to reach 100 pounds down on episode 16. Okay, not really a bet, but it was just like a thing within myself. I was like, yeah, that seems about right. I don't think so. What I'm going to try to do today is I am going to drink more water 
and I actually have this is stupid but um, I actually have an alarm set on my phone I'm gonna for every hour to just go to the bathroom and pee okay so I'm gonna drink out of my coldest water bottle no not sponsored and yes I used to be obsessed with the coldest water bottle but um, I stopped being obsessed and now we might go back to that so this is one that holds half of a gallon um, I added quite a bit of ice and I was able to put let me see how many ounces math ma'am whatever 16.9 times 3 is so let me figure that out um, okay I was able to put 50 ounces of water in this which is three water bottles um, 50 ounces Mm, that's not that much, but I don't want to like overkill it. I don't want to just like shock my body and drink all kinds of water So I think 50 ounces is good. I did put a lot of ice that will melt so I'll probably be drinking that as well I don't know. We'll see either way. I am going to focus very very hard on just like Last night it is just a veggie roll So I'm gonna get some soy sauce Obviously I have the low sodium. Does it come with ginger? Oh wait, it comes with ginger and soy sauce. Okay, well. Um, yeah, so we could do like a little taste test moment. I might just pour the soy sauce on the sushi so I don't have to worry about dipping so I just paid my electricity bill and it was only a hundred dollars <laughs> during springtime summertime fall time that's obviously when it's the cheapest but in um, winter it goes up to like four hundred dollars a month because I have a lot of windows in my living room which that's how I love to live and they're not insulated, which is unfortunate. Um, so it just stays cold even with the heater on. So it's just like, ugh. So it does cost a lot, but I love uh, when it's like only 100 a month. I'm just like, ma'am, love that for me. Whoops, I might have just added too much soy sauce. So all that's in this is carrots, avocado, seaweed cucumber and then the rice mm, I don't know I don't know if I like it I don't want to waste calories by eating something I don't like and they want to put it in the fridge because my girlfriend ate hers earlier and she said she liked it, so maybe maybe she'll want this. I don't know. I just don't want to... Like, back in the day, I would have ate it just because, like, food is food, right? But it's not going to be worth it, like, because I have calories. So what am I going to eat? I'll figure it out and then show you guys. Okay, you guys, so I chose what I'm going to have. Don't come for me. I'm going to have a creamy four cheese rice aroni, 250 calories. This is what it looks like. <laughs> They're so good, I promise. And then pineapple and strawberries. So this is 250. The fruit is 50, so 300 calories. And I'm actually going to enjoy this, not like the sushi. I just did not care for it at all. Okay, so we're about to clean out the pantry. It is super messy. It kind of gives me anxiety. Like, we're trying to eat more at home, so... I don't know, it just makes me not even want to go in the pantry because of how it looks. So we're going to take everything out, we're going to go through everything, I am going to organize it the best I can. I think she's going to take everything out, but I'm going to be the one to put everything in, I think. So this is how crazy it looks right now. So I had to do it before. And then of course we're going to do an after. Or a during. Okay, so it is empty. It looks like we're moving out. Oh my god. So, we're going to back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that and just see, like, yeah. My brain is, like, everywhere. Like, when I organize, it's just, like, so many random 
ideas are in my head. It's just like a lot. So, my girlfriend wants to help me, and I told her I don't need help. If I do, I'll ask. She's so sweet, but she put them like this, which, which is true. These are prepackaged uh, pastas I like to have. So, she's right. She's right. So that'll be the first thing, first food item that we put in here. So we have these cute little containers to add pasta or anything into. So we recommend this. Um, she's actually the one who showed me this. It's from Trader Joe's. It's a red lentil pasta. Get it? It's so delicious. You guys are currently in my pantry where I wish we had a lights in here, but we don't. Like what? I need to see what I'm doing, okay? Currently I'm just putting the cans together. Clean up this pantry, I have discovered I buy cans of stuff and I don't really use it. We have coconut milk, we have black beans, we have diced potatoes, green beans galore. <laughs> there was a phase where I was obsessed with green beans. I know it's weird. All right, so I did take a break. I have had you know, a change of clothing. I still have quite a bit to go. So here's an update on it all. So this is everything I have left to go. And then, damn, I need to sweep and everything. This is how it looks so far. So we have some like Quest bars, ramens, all my cans. I think I'm gonna have my bread sitting there, waters. So that's how it looks so far. <sighs> Twinkie Toysies! Give me kisses. Oh, thanks, thanks. So I wanna put one of these down in that basket, but it's too big. So we're gonna see, is my girlfriend handy? Yes, I already know that the answer is literally yes. So she's <laughs> taking a knife. And she's cutting it for me. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just need it so, cause I wanna put like the sauces in this, but it's like weeble wobbly. See it weeble wobbling? So, we'll see. You guys, she did it. And it was, it, it, <laughs> It seemed hard, but look. Oh my God, I appreciate her so much. We have a Kong Pao. We have a sugar-free sweet and honey. Red wine vinegar. Rice vinegar. And light soy sauce. Oh, I love that. So, while my girlfriend's doing somersaults in the bed, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna show you the pantry. Are you guys ready? Okay, so right here I'm gonna show you before again. All right. Now, here's after. Oh my gosh. It looks so much better. All right, baby, are you ready to see it for the first time? I'm ready, baby. All right, come look. Tell me what you think. Well, that looks so good, babe. Does it? Yeah. So up top, we have organization. Yes, up top is like random dinner stuff, then cans, then breads, then quest, then breakfast, then random bag stuff, then pasta, random bag stuff. then ramen, then cup noodle, then chips, then we're getting into the snacks, so all that's snacks. Then sauces, vinegars, cat dog treats, waters, Twinkies food. The cat food is in the hallway, by the way. So, you like? I love it. Good. So this is what I've been dealing with. <laughs> okay, you guys, so next thing I'm eating is 520 calories. This is Hawaiian 
bagel. Yum. And then my girlfriend made a homemade uh, turkey burger with seasoning, the whole nine yards. And then there's a serving of cheese on it. And I like my stuff plain. So that's how we have it. You know what? Taste test. <laughs> oh my God. I should be a taste test channel. Okay. I think the vibe, wait, what are these? No, not dark chocolate blueberries. Yes, I think I'm gonna have some of the milk chocolate vanilla sea salt caramels. Just a couple. And then some of the rock and ranch. So I'm gonna calculate points and I'll let you guys know when I'm done. You said points. Why did I say points? <laughs> I meant to say calories. Alright, they don't be thinking you're weight watching. <laughs> no, I'm not. Will we squeeze them? Oh. Baby. Look at all this fur from Twinkie. Here, you want me to live roll you real quick? No, nah, I'm good, baby. Okay. 11 pieces is 140 calories. And then one ounce of these is 130. It says 50 of them is 130 calories. Cool, cool. So I'm gonna have a half a serving of each. So I'm gonna have 25 of these for 65 calories. And then I'm gonna have five of these for 70 calories. All right. This is what these look like. Oh my God, those are so fucking good. And this is what these look like. This is a total of, why can't I math right now? 135 calories, awesome. So this is the tiniest snack ever, but I just need something. So this is 135 calories. Okay, so it's time for my next meal. I feel like I wanna binge. Um, it's bad, it's so overpowering that I wanna scream and I'm having to do everything in my power not to do it. And it's a scary place to be in. Wow. Um, normally I cave into these binges, but this is like not a good feeling. If you're a binge eater and if you have ever wanted to binge so bad. <laughs> Sorry, I had a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. If you ever wanted to binge so bad and like you didn't cave into it and like every part of your body, like you have to literally use every cell in your body not to do it. Yeah, that's me right now. Um, something I have been taught and outpatient by not only my psychologist but the dietitian is that when you are a binge eater, if you are craving something, eat it because if you don't you will later binge on it nine times out of ten and that has been the story of my life um a perfect example is like pringles love me a pringle moment if i was craving pringles and i didn't allow myself to have them even if i was like craving them really really bad um or even if i wanted to like binge on them or i had that like thought process um if I didn't allow myself to have some, I would later on binge on a whole thing of Pringles instead of just having like a serving or two servings even. Um, so this is perfect example right now. I wanted to order to binging. I eat so much quicker and I don't chew as much. I take bigger bites and it's just like, like shoveling it in almost. Um, not in the animated, way that you're probably imagining no it's just definitely a lot quicker um while overeating it's a completely different mental headspace it's like i'm eating slower you know thoroughly enjoying the food but during a binge i'm i'm not enjoying the food at all so i'm going to take my positive choice i'm going to eat this and i'm going to enjoy it i'm not gonna watch tv nothing i'm just gonna be it's just gonna be me and the famous bowl. Well, usually, while well, binging, nine times out of 10, I'm watching something on YouTube or I'm watching a TV show. So this is, this is a technique that I've been taught and I'm putting it to use 
it's still really early in the night um it's the end of my calories i'm eating before i want to but i'm trying to satiate the hunger so it doesn't go go into a full binge so i will definitely give you guys an update at the end of the night regarding that okay so i am here to end the video um i have not binged it has been so hard not to yeah it's just whew, it's been rough but i will feel horrible horrible by that i mean 1400 i don't know why i couldn't just say it like that but okay first meal i'm thinking a scrambled egg cheesy spam moment not healthy at all but that's not what this is about right now i will be having some fruit though i have this so i'll have some of that so we need eggs got him and we have some leftover spam let me just you know fridge tour <laughs> there's not much in here folks where's the spam there we go so i'm gonna eat half of that because half of this is a serving and a half so that's what i'm gonna do there and then oh this is empty Trash alert. Oh my god, it's so messy in here. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> She's gonna go on American Idol. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. By the way, I don't add my calories on oil. Random fact. I'm sure a lot of you disagree with that. And I forgot, of course, we need some cheese. So I'm gonna use the Fiesta blend. It's like my fave. This is our cheese area. We have feta, we have laughing cow spreadable. A serving and a half is kind of a lot. Yum. So this spam is 270 calories just for this amount, which is fine. And then the two eggs I'm gonna use is an extra 140, and then serving of cheese 110. So as I was adding the spam, I realized why did I put oil in it? I don't know. You, I'm an idiot. That's how it's going right now. So I didn't add any seasoning. I might just add like Tabasco or something at the end. All right, so it is complete. Now I'm gonna add the cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna have some fruit and I need my Tabasco. Oh, okay, so look at what I did. We love hot sauce, so I had a little uh, extra container, so I put all of the hot sauce in there. Good idea, I know. So I also wanted to show you guys with my eggs, this is how much fruit I'm having. Um, oh, a little stem, I love that. We're having some pineapple and some strawberry. Okay, you guys, so I'm over here just like editing, right? And my wrist started itching, and I'm like, okay, let's, itch my wrist because that's a normal thing to do oh my alarm just went off um so i think i'm dying let me let me show you guys i don't know if something bit me or what but i'm not okay or is correct <laughs> sometimes i get so scared like when i order a diet soda like they're gonna give me regular but yeah we usually play mario party or mario kart sitting at the edge of the bed um i prefer it i do have kind of like 
bad eyes i'm not gonna lie the couch is kind of far away from the tv and the living room so this is just like we're much closer this way um i do have to go to the eye doctor i'm supposed to wear eyeglasses random fact but i don't so i know it's something i definitely need to do um i'm just looking at my uber eats my order is one minute away yes okay so i'm gonna go get that and then I'm pretty sure you guys know what a famous bowl looks like from, uh, I was, I was gonna say Kentucky. From Kentucky! No, from KFC. Oh my god, but, um, I'll show you guys still. Look at this. Look at that one, and then, and then, and then, that one right there. Oh my goodness. This pile of stuff right here is Goodwill stuff. I'm constantly going through just like items that I don't want anymore and I kind of just like stack it all together and then I neatly stack it together when I'm going to uh Goodwill but yeah I also want to go through my purses again because I feel like I have a lot of purses that I don't am I zoomed in I don't even know um I have a lot of purses that I don't want anymore which happens also another wait i think i am zoomed in a little bit um i did have to switch my shirt because wait hold on i did have to switch my shirt because i was doing the dishes like a normal person but when you're fat sometimes your shirt gets wet so my shirt got soaking wet and i said no like sometimes it happens worse than others and today was just one of them days so um did some dishes and now I'm about to go get my food because I'm freaking hungry okay okay cool okay got my food there's my drink there is literally no ice let me see is it diet she's diet thankfully I have ice yes I do I love the ice trays I got best purchase in a while because I am an ice person. Whoops, I just dropped one on the ground. Speaking of ground, speaking of ground, hold on. <laughs> I made it too high. Uh, so I got my KFC at the door, right? And in the hallway, that's where we have our uh, washer and dryer. Uh, like in this like door situation type deal. Well, I guess when I did uh, my laundry last, which was last night, I accidentally dropped a dryer sheet in the hallway and I guess I didn't see it like uh, but now I'm swapping I'm drinking more water than I am diet soda so yay okay so time for my next meal I am making a chicken salad I'm cooking the chicken I'm gonna put some pepper love pepper so I don't shy away from that I'm gonna add some onion powder this I mean, these uh, seasoning containers are cute and all, but like the writing smears off. Oh! <laughs> okay, she's gonna be oniony. Uh, whoops. So, and some roasted garlic, which I've never tried this seasoning before, so hopefully it's good. I'm probably gonna take out some of the onion powder. So, let me do that real quick. Alright, you guys. You're gonna build my salad with me. Bowl, coming in hot. So obviously we need some lettuce. Oh, I'm supposed to save half of this for my girlfriend. Okay, this is a chunk here, so I'm just gonna cut, cut it up. Okay, next I am going to add a little bit of onion I like slivers I also don't like touching onion with my fingers it's a weird situation type deal it's pretty good it's pretty good it's pretty good then we're gonna add some black olives love black olives so freaking bomb then shredded carrots also love shredded carrots now i'm gonna have some feta cheese 
a serving is a fourth a cup, but I'm gonna use less and just consider it the full serving of feta, cause why not? Oh, my hands, hold on, I'll be right back. Next, we have some pepperoncini or banana peppers, however you wanna call it. Same thing. Okay, so I like my chicken dry, burnt, you know, there's, you don't even know it was a chicken at one point. So, oh my god, the salad is huge. This is just one really big chicken breast. So, love that for me. Now we're going to use some dressing. I'm just using Zesty Italian. This stuff goes a long way. It's only 15 calories for two tablespoons. Love that. Last ingredient is pepper. I need pepper on my salads at all times. Wow. So I'll calculate the calories for this and I'll have, it's a Capricorn necklace by the way. <laughs> But um, I know in the past like I've made salads or like I've made sandwiches where I don't like break down the calories and people are like, you know, how did you get that many calories, etc, etc. So I figured let's just break it down. So for the lettuce was 20 calories, the onion was 10, banana peppers was 5, it was actually so much less than that because it was just literally one small banana pepper, but it's fine. Um, an ounce of banana peppers is 5 calories. Shredded carrots was 35 calories. Feta was only 30, but hi, ma'am. Okay. Um, the chicken breast. See, the thing is, I put 300, and I know it was a little bit less than that, but sometimes I overestimate. And then the Italian dressing was 20, and the olives was 60. So that was a pretty filling salad, I must admit. Like, I could have finished it, but the only reason why I stopped is because my teeth sensitivity to cold right now is just like unmatched it just does not feel good so that's unfortunate see i ate all the olives out for you baby she doesn't like olives so i made sure to eat all those for her so my calories for the day is sitting at 1861 which is a little bit more than what i'm trying to aim for but since i didn't finish my salad and i overestimated on a few of these things i am happy with that um but yeah i'm done eating for the day i had three meals i feel content um i'm kind of doing intermittent fasting in a way um i'm eating all of my food within like an eight hour mark this makes it to where i don't have to think about food for the rest of the night i kind of like that and i also don't have to think about food when i first wake up so it's nice to just kind of I think I'm gonna set more of like a schedule for my eating instead of just like willy-nilly, if that makes sense. Um, I'm like today it was 2 p.m. I'm pretty sure is when I started eating. Somewhere around there. Hair is a mess, always a mess. This is how it looks a day before I wash it. Okay, so I think it's time to do a torrid moment. We haven't done one in a hot minute. Um, and y'all. I'd be wearing t-shirts now. Wait. Do they look the greatest on me? No. No, they don't. But, Rudel, come use. Come use. Come to mommy's. Come to mommy's. Yeah. yeah. She hates being held. So all stops. I just like to love on you. Okay. Can I get my tour in? Okay, can you guys even see like this camera how many people actually like my book content, which makes me really happy um, But does anyone like graphic novels? I for one love them. This is Alex and Ada and I was gonna start this a while ago like <laughs> Maybe six months ago haven't even opened it. So I'm actually going to try reading some right now, and we're gonna do it live action, folks. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what that meant. But <laughs> we're gonna read a little bit, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think. This is the deluxe edition, so it's like the complete completion, which I love buying instead of like a bunch of like smaller 
um, graphic novels, I feel like you get the best, you know, once you get hard couple, couple, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Once you get hardcover, full edition, complete edition is the best. All right, so I'm gonna start it. What? So this is about androids. I'm assuming Alex and Ada probably fall in love. Do you think they fall in love already? They probably do. Chapter one. Okay, okay. Pretty simple. Couple words. <laughs> uh, let's see. Time to wake up. Wow, so this is like totally in the future. I love that. Okay, he's going pee. Love that. A shower moment. All right, y'all. I'm going to keep reading for a little bit, see where I get. I'm going to pet on this one who is highly obsessed with me. And I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, so I was worried that it was going to be very little words, but I turned the page. Thankfully, there are lots of words. From the looks of it, it seems pretty decent when it comes to the word length. Look at her rubber self on me. I know, I know update i am obsessed i'm literally obsessed with this so i'm gonna stop reading because normally with a graphic novel i read it in one sitting but i kind of want to make it last um so yeah the situation goes a little something like this there's a guy he's single just got out of a relationship like seven months ago lonely his grandma has an android because this is like way in the future who kind of her boyfriend type thing weird and the grandma's like you need to get one da, 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 da. and he's like no i don't want one the grandma surprises him with one what is happening to my hair that's no so the grandma surprises him with one so i just got to the part where